Hi everybody, so this week we will be doing an introduction of Mini 2 Flight Controls. So basically, it's to actually help you understand between the three modes, Mode 1, Mode 2 and Mode 3, which is commonly used on your remote controller. Because if you play remote uh, RC helicopters, RC planes, if you go forward, it goes forward, not the left throttle, okay? And uh, RC planes only go in one direction, it goes forward. And left and right will actually uh, control the direction of the aeroplane. So it's quite simple and straightforward. Which is also why I felt that DJI also used Mode 2, that very same one that comes with remote control RC planes, as a default uh, way of flying the, the drone itself. Then the second thing is that they have two other modes, Mode 3 and Mode 1. Which, in my personal opinion, Mode 1 would be the best uh, best way to actually fly the drone. Main thing because Mode 1, when you move on your left pad, okay, this might be inverted, but uh, if you go up, it goes straight. If it goes back, it goes back. If you turn left, it turns left together. So it goes left together with a direction. And it turns right, it turns right. But Mode 1 is actually one of the modes which I would like to touch on because... When you move backwards, that's the most stupid thing. If you drive, okay? If you drive, you turn right. If you keep your steering wheel to the right and you move backwards, it will definitely turn right. But for the drone, I can tell you this is a mind-blowing um, thing because when you turn right on the drone and you move backwards, it will turn left. So that is... One of the things that I hope that but it won't be changed like, for, for DJI. So you need to condition your mind that by turning right on the joystick, okay, on the left joystick and moving backwards, the drone, instead of going in this direction, that will go straight and turn right, it will turn, okay, so the, the condition of the drone is moving backwards, okay, so this is the front, this is the back, so this is the side view. If you turn right, okay, the drone will turn right along with it. And when you turn right and you move backwards, you turn left. <laughs> you reverse to the left direction. So this one thing you will definitely need to take note in flying this. Because apparently propellers work different from the steering wheel of a car or remote control car. Where you turn right and you go, go back, it will go this way. But if you do it to a drone, when you go right, it will turn right. And when you go back, you'll see it'll go back towards this direction. So it's going left instead of right. This is one thing you need to condition. Similarly, when you go left, this is the drone, it will turn left. Okay. And then when you go backwards, it will also go backwards. So it will go in this direction. So it's really one thing mind-blowing that you really, really need to take note because it goes the opposite direction of the car. So that's one very thing that you really need to condition your mind. But uh, on, on the other stick, which is on the right, similarly, I believe it's best to do a mode 1. Okay, I have my reason. Flight controls, turning navigation is on one stick, so you can turn along a smooth road. Okay, instead of conditioning and balancing between your left and right brain to do a left joystick movement, and then later, the other movement on the right, <laughs> you'll need to control, for example, if I'm using mode 2, if I want to go straight, Okay, straight is on the right, but left, he will tilt left. It's more towards, uh, not exactly a way you drive your car, but you will do a tilt left, where you will tilt to the left instead. Okay, so you move straight, you tilt left, what will happen? It will actually tilt left. Okay, so apparently this works with, if you, if you fly, RC helicopters, okay, it, it's perfect, mode 2 perfect, okay, it, it gives a very easy explanation, and uh, personally, I prefer to use the way of one mind to control one thing, because basically you need to adjust between tilt and turn, so you need two different joysticks, so mode 2 in my personal opinion, is not so easy for you to follow a, a specific path in terms of turning, Okay, so I will recommend mode 2 and mode 3 itself is a separate mode altogether. 
if you take a look at mode 3 okay let me just uh, share a few screenshots so basically I have the screenshot attached to it uh, mode 1 let me just tilt my phone just tilt so mode 1 is something like that okay oops got reflection so I'll cut that um, so mode 3 itself what will happen is that you will be able to control both your ascent, descent, left turn, right turn on one joystick. Okay, so what will happen is that you will actually move up on the right. Okay, and when you turn left, it's turning. And this movement is like a never. Uh, it's a movement that will actually turn the thing okay so when you turn is the direction of turning and you need to move forward so you move forward on your left joystick and you turn so it's a two mind coordination uh, thing which is very difficult okay 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 maybe your mind is conditioned you know you have better control over it but I can say you need to balance your both your left and right mind to control your left and right hand to control in one direction where you want to go straight and turn you need to move in both different directions if you practice well definitely it works and it's good to practice if you like but for simplicity and not to make things too complicated I would prefer to have up down and tilt in one which is mode one and the other direction is front back movement so you have full control on one joystick instead of doing a mind coordination kind of thing so basically that would actually make things a lot simpler yep so that's all for today's uh sharing session in terms of flight controls and i uh, hope this will make it useful because you want to make flying easier that's all for today's video thank you have a nice day